In this tutorial, we want to look at how to outline a test in GIMP and as well, I'll be looking at how to put a drop shadow in GIMP so that you can see your test very well. But first of all, another thing also that I want to talk about is that um, th there's a new version of GIMP that was released on the 4th of October of this year that is 2020 so i'm that's the new version is what i'm using so if you can always check which version you are using by going to help and going to about gimp and then here you see that it tells you updates available i've already updated mine so this is the newest version 2.10.22 if yours you've not updated yours you can always press here and then you download it and after downloading and running it it will update it for you okay so now let's go for our test tool and then when you go for your test tool you see this this dialog box opening and then you can you can just click here and start writing something or if you don't want to do that you can also always um, let me go back here again you can always always uh, come here and then drag this to give you a box and then you can write in if you see here this is also a dialog box that you can also use to change your your font type the the size of your font is here and the color it's the same thing here the difference is that this is just for one time when you do something if you change it here it will continue to be there until you update it again now i will just stick to what i have now i have i'm using serif bold you can press here and change whatever you want and then the size i'm using 200 now let's write something i write something like love here and then i would now go here and go to the layer that the love is on and then right click it and then go to alpha to selection so that it selects the love for you or whatever you've written there now i want to come here to select there are two options you can use you can either use shrink um, or grow i will first of all show you how to use the shrink so uh, so that's to shrink it a bit and then we'll give it also a different color let's press shrink now and then maybe we we will se select area continue outside the image um, this you can check it, it, when shrinking act as if selected area continues outside uh, the image so you don't really uh, need that let's uncheck it first of all and see um, what happens i'm using three as how it should shrink it and then i do okay we don't need the other thing because we just shrank it nicely for us we don't want it to continue outside anyway for our purpose so now here um it's a selected something which is a bit lesser than what we have and now we can change the color one thing i wanted to the color we, we we can either press here and change the color which i wouldn't do now i want to show you a new feature in game when you go to the selection tool uh, uh, no when you go to the color picker tool you can select um any any color from any layer you see i'm on the layer love i'm not on the layer where i've put a color spectrum or a color palette here but still before you couldn't but now if you choose sample merge you can all you can just select the color here and you see here the foreground color has changed yes i select let's choose this color or maybe i choose this color here and then now when i go to my bucket tool and i can come and fill the pots i've selected and you see that it's nicely done when i go to none see that it has outlined the test nicely i'm now going to show you another way of doing it let's 
a close this so it's not disturbing us in any way let's create a new layer so we come here and create a new layer okay now in this layer we we'll do the same thing we go for our test tool and then we write lab now we 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 have a, a, a love one now what we want to do is that we do the same thing here we come to this one here and then we do um alpha to selection and now with this selected we want to grow it so we go to select and then instead of shrink we choose grow and then we grow it 10 pixels so choose right 10 here and do okay now you see it is grown like this now one thing i would do is that as it has it is grown i want to create a new um layer and then i want to uh, color it there so i create another layer here and then um, i can come again with my uh, picker tool here and then come to any uh, choose a, a color somewhere here or, or to change it um, let's choose or maybe this time i choose a color here to show you in case you don't know how to do that one so you can choose a, any color here let's choose maybe this color um, what color goes will go best with the color we have it doesn't really matter we have blue now we use blue okay so we go to okay now i can now go for my bucket tool again and then i paint in so now if you can see this here is blue and if i close this blue you can see what i did but i need to put the blue under because it's too big and covering this one here so with this selected let me move it down and then this moves up and then now you can you have it if i go to select and then i choose none you have also a way of outlining something another thing i wanted to show you is that let's uh, i want to create another layer again and then let's close this and this and so that we can see what we are doing and then as we are here let's write again the same thing right love again and then in case it's not you want to give it something like a, a drop shadow you can just come to um, filters and then you can go to light and shadow and then you can press drop shadow and then you can sometimes adjust these things here but you can already see that there is a, a shadow um, here you can um, either go to the right which reduces this or go to the left to have a more a, a clear shadow more or less if you want you can do like this or you can do something like this and then when you are satisfied you press ok so this is what I wanted to show you today thank you for watching if this helped you in any way please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel thank you bye